us on the program. As I mentioned, Chris Carlton, how are you? How you doing? I'm doing great. All Speed Bike and Sport is heading on up to Carabasset Valley. Are you excited? We are. We're, we're really excited to, to come up here. Yeah. And you will be residing where? Um, we will be at the Outdoor Center um, in the space where the Cross Country uh, Ski Shop is operating. Yeah. And um, we're just really excited to sort of contribute to all the momentum that's going on up yeah. there. Yeah. Well, as you were saying, you were out yesterday, and how were the conditions? Oh, it was great. The fat biking was about as good as it gets, I think. Yeah. Uh, the groomers up here, you know, CR Nemba people are really doing a great job. So it's awesome to see that. Yeah. Yeah. And they've got some uh, that snow dog, and uh, they've adapted an old piece of cross country ski trail um, grooming to uh, work on fat biking. They're innovative as well. Absolutely. Now, tell us a little bit about what what your what your plans are there. Yeah, so our plans are, um, you know, we're essentially going to bring sort of all speed in Portland up to here. Um, we um, are going to have a pretty good size rental fleet, um, which we're really looking forward to. We'll have uh, high-end bikes from Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing that's really going to be unique is we'll have um, some really nice kids' bikes. So full-featured kids' bikes, you know, with nice gearing for younger kids. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking forward to kind of getting, you know, everybody involved in mountain biking and uh, trying to sort of break down some of those barriers you know, make it easier for people sure. to try it out. Yeah, and it's great because uh, even the kids were on fat bikes during fat bike day, so we're, we're weaning them onto them now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If, now, uh, how popular is fat biking nationally? I know it's certainly popular around here. Were you seeing trends around Portland and uh, beyond? Yeah, I mean, in the Northeast, it's very popular. It's, uh, you know, anywhere there's uh, a snowpack, um, fat biking definitely holds rain, but... Um, it's kind of odd, you know, some of the bigger companies like Santa Cruz, one of our big partners in this, they don't make fat bikes. Um, so, you know, there's certain areas of the country, Santa Cruz, California, that they, they don't really have a fat biking scene. So, huh. yeah. So we're, uh, we're cutting edge. We're cutting edge. Absolutely. <laughs> now it's going to be at the Outdoor Center. What is the um, proposed uh, date that you'll start that? We're hoping to open um, May 26th. Um, and then... We will operate from July 1st uh, until September 4th, seven days a week. Seven um, days a week, great. So we're look, looking to be open nine to five, uh, and we're hoping we can, you know, that'll be a good window to get every, everyone uh, everything they need. Mm -hmm. so. what, tell us what other uh, services you'll offer. Uh, will there be guided tours? There will be. Yeah, um, that's another focus in terms of just trying to make it easy for people to go mountain biking. If you've never gone before, you don't want to get in over your head, or you just want some light instruction, we're going to offer guided tours, um, you know, for individuals or groups. And we'll, we'll help you, you know, stay on trails that are within your ability level. Or, you know, if you're, you only got an hour and a half, we can show you kind of the greatest hits. So. Oh. So th is, is mountain biking, can anyone do mountain biking? I mean, there are people that... Uh, it's not like regular biking. It's a little more challenging. Do you, you actually give them some instruction and hints on how to, how to do that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think anyone that can ride a bike can go mountain biking. Um, obviously, some trails are harder than others, but the unique thing about, you know, the trails in Carabasset Valley is there's a little bit of everything for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, you know, mountain biking is certainly something that's easier. The other big thing, too, is the bikes have progressed a lot. And I would equate the new bikes almost to shape skis. Um, so if you had a bad experience before on a hardtail, you know, an older bike, you know, try one of these new bikes. It really does make the sport quite a bit easier and more enjoyable. Well, you know, you look at skis, they get... They make new and come up with new innovations. I don't know how they do it each and every year, so why not with bikes? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Chris, stay with us. We're going to take a break. We'll come right back with speak, speak with Chris from All Speed Bike and Sport, who is going to be moving in to the Outdoor Center, and we'll talk more about the services that they offer. We'll be right back.